Greetings, I'm Pastor Eric Smith, and this is Wakening Grace. There's a story of a wealthy Texas oil man. He was an emperor in the industry. He was known for his lavish entertaining. He had a penchant for drama, the big dramatic statement. Once he threw a party for all of the in crowd of Texas. They gathered from far and near to a summertime party at his incredible estate. Ever the showman, he had his swimming pool refilled with salt water and big, live, man-eating sharks who patrolled the swimming pool to the amazement and awe of all of his party guests. As the evening progressed, our Texas oil man gathered the crowd around the pool and told them he had an announcement and an offer. He said, on this night, I make the offer to anyone who is brave enough that if you will jump into this pool and swim from one end to the other, I will give you your choice of half my oil business or half of my stock investments. As the crowd stood in hushed and amazed silence, suddenly there was a splash. Someone was in the water, furiously thrashing his way across the swimming pool. The crowd gasped, but he made it to the other side and threw himself out of the pool. The oil man said, my gosh, that was terrific. You are incredible. You did it. He helped the young man up and he said to him, well, son, I'm a man of my word. Half my oil business or half of my stock investments. What do you want? As he caught his breath, the young man said, all I want to know is who pushed me in the pool? Have you ever found yourself so tied to what happened in your past that you couldn't see the possibilities presented in the moment? I have. That young man was more concerned about what had happened to him than the opportunity that was offered. This happens all of the time. We're stuck in old dramas or living in the midst of injustice that passed long ago but we carry it with us. We are looking backward at what happened rather than looking forward into a future we have the chance to create. When we let go of what was in favor of what is and what can be, we waken to the freedom of our human experience at its very best. Will you pray with me? Oh God, thank you for the freedom you have given me to imagine my own future. Help me today to stop dwelling in my past and instead be present to the moment. This is my prayer. Amen.